good spot on the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Here are the top 10 untold truths of Sweet Baby Ray's. This barbecue sauce has been around for years and lives by the motto, the sauce is the boss. Well, let's just see about that. I'll be the judge of that. Best selling barbecue sauce. All right, the guy said this was their best selling thing by far. Even though we don't know for sure how much money the company is worth today, Sweet Baby Ray's is one of the highest selling barbecue sauces in the United States. It's even ahead of some of its bigger competitors, such as Kraft, Casey Masterpiece, and Stubbs. And it has been for years. On comparison sites such as Statista, it showed that Sweet Baby Ray's was well above the competition in 2014, even higher in 2017, and again in 2020. The comparison Insight states that Sweet Baby Ray's is the most popular barbecue sauce amongst consumers in the United States. And when the website did a poll asking customers which was their preferred sauce, more than half of the barbecue lovers surveyed said that they buy Sweet Baby Ray's on a regular basis. Is that barbecue sauce? <laughs> When was I near barbecue sauce? In other words, they trust Sweet Baby Ray's for all of their barbecuing needs. Tied for second place was Kraft Original and KC Masterpiece. And coming in third was Heinz Barbecue Sauce. Considering that this company started in Larry Raymond's basement and seeing how downright competitive the sauce business is, Sweet Baby Ray's success was no small feat. They're expected to bring in over $900 million in retail barbecue sauce sales in 2021. I like money. Turning up the heat. Yeah, yeah, turn up the heat. Everyone knows that Sweet Baby Ray's is sweet. It's not that much of a shock when you taste it for the first time. It's literally in the name. Larry Raymond made it that way on purpose to match the name and also because many of the chefs he consulted advised him to do so. However, there are still unsatisfied people who go on Twitter or on websites like Reddit and complain about the fact that it has no real flavor other than being sweet sweet. But even if it's sweet, that doesn't mean that there shouldn't be a little bit of a kick to it. It's not full. Gives it a little kick. In order to turn up the heat, the company adds McIlhenny's Tabasco from Avery Island, Louisiana, which gives it that blend of sweet, hot, and smoke. The addition of Tabasco gives the sauce a little acidity from the vinegar, as well as a mid-level spicy heat from the capsicum frutasins peppers, which is just a fancy way of saying Tabasco peppers. According to Dave Raymond, the flavor profile of Sweet Baby Ray's is meant to complement the food it's used on, not dominate it. Apparently, using the sauce straight from the fridge makes it spicier. If you want it to be a little bit milder, wait for it to get to room temperature. <laughs> a little too spicy. So much sauce. That is awesome sauce. Undoubtedly, the brand has come a long way since Larry Raymond entered his first rib fest. Over the past 30 years, Sweet Baby Ray's has grown to accommodate more than 20 different sauces. Nowadays, they even have two different lines of sauces, one for wings and one for barbecue. You know, because one type of sauce is never good enough for your barbecues. Some of their newer sauces include Sweet and Spicy Barbecue Sauce and Hickory and Brown Sugar Barbecue Sauce. Some of them even seem to draw inspiration from the rest of the globe with selections like Jamaican jerk wing sauce and Korean barbecue and wing sauce. Don't worry though, classics like Nashville hot sauce and honey barbecue sauce are still available for purchase. Your favorites are safe. Oh, thank God. On their website, they state that one of the challenges they've had is staying close to their roots, but that they're doing their best to create the best sauce possible for their customers. It's amazing. What started in Larry Raymond's basement is now found at backyard barbecues, baseball games, and grocery chains all over the country. And if that isn't the American dream, well, what is? That's the American dream. Branching off. Now what? Even though the Raymonds sold the company, they were far from done with the food industry. As part of the terms of sale to Ken's Foods, the brothers kept the rights to Sweet Baby Ray's name, which means that they can still capitalize on name recognition. Even though they were done with sauce making, they still wanted to have something to do, so they created a catering company as well as a restaurant. Barbecue sauce. <laughs> 
the same year Sweet Baby Ray's was sold, back in 2005, Dave Raymond decided to open up a barbecue restaurant. Then in 2010, he bought True Cuisine Catering, adding to the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue catering company. He brought on his nephew, Deuce Raymond, and released his line of barbecue sauces, Deuce's Wild Barbecue Sauces. Combined, the business is called SBR Events Group. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Dave Raymond's new company still works with Sweet Baby Ray's. SBR Events Group promotes the sweet barbecue sauce along with Deuce's Wild Barbecue Sauces. The home of Sweet Baby Ray website talks about Dave's former sauce business in a good light, though it has no mention of Larry Raymond. What does it say about me? You're not in it. Top Sellers I was selling garbage to garbage men and making cash hand over fist. Even though the Raymonds found fame and fortune in barbecue sauce, Dave Raymond discourages anyone from trying to do the same. This is due to the intensely competitive nature of the sauce industry. Who would have thought? Because of the other big brands, it's becoming more and more difficult for Sweet Baby Ray's to get prime shelf space at popular grocery stores, which means they've had to resort to creating a bunch of new flavors to keep their customers interested. Surprisingly, despite all of these new flavors, only two of their sauces really see regular success. In 2012, Raymond told The Food Republic that the only flavors that do well nationally are the original and the sweet and spicy. I have um, original no flavor and whole wheat no flavor. Everything else, those creative sauces that were carefully designed by everyone in the company, are simply there to take up retail shelf space. Even other large producers like Kraft or KC Masterpiece do the same thing. Apparently, gaining more shelf space or just keeping the shelf space they do have is a constant battle and the top priority of sauce brand owners. Can we really blame fans for prioritizing the original and sweet and spicy flavors, though? According to various restaurant industry magazines, which analyzed a plethora of restaurant menus, sweet barbecue sauce is among the fastest growing flavors. This sweet barbecue sauce even landed seventh in popularity, just ahead of Alabama white sauce and behind honey barbecue flavor. Honey barbecue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah, so um, with the Ooh, these Hasman, are good. From a basement to a multi-million dollar business. This is about growing our family business. Sweet Baby Ray's did really well for itself in a short amount of time. Speaking to a Chicago wedding guide, son of Larry Raymond, Deuce Raymond, gave the public some insight as to how much the company has grown since it was started nearly 40 years ago. He told the guide that his father and uncle started with only $2,000 and a dream. What brings you here? I have a dream. In just 20 years, their small sauce company was sold for $30 million. After 20 more years, Sweet Baby Ray's has grown from a $30 million brand to a $600 million brand. Since Sweet Baby Ray's was a private company before it sold, and Ken's Foods, the company that bought it, is a private company as well, it's hard to get hard data on sales numbers. However, Dave Raymond put the ballpark value of the Sweet Baby Ray's sauce brand in the $560 million range when he appeared in a short 2016 documentary. Why make trillions when we could make... Billion? A saucy beginning. Oh, she is a saucy mama. Developed in the early 1980s by Chicago brothers Dave and Larry Raymond, Sweet Baby Ray's didn't start off as a company. One of the brothers, Larry, was a young restaurateur before he even thought about going into the sauce business. Even though he didn't have the experience to back up his sauce-making mission, what he did have was a killer family recipe. Around 1982, he started playing around with this recipe just to see how close to perfection he could get it. After three years of tinkering, he entered a local barbecue competition called the Mike Royko Rib Fest. At the time, it was the largest rib cook-off in the country. Challenge accepted. Cook off later today in the courtyard. Larry didn't win the first time, but he didn't let that get to him. 
for the next four years, he kept entering the competition. The last time he competed, he placed second out of 700 contestants. This was all the proof the Raymond brothers needed to confirm that their sauce was, indeed, something to be admired. And so, in 1986, Larry and Dave Raymond, as well as a childhood friend, Mike O'Brien, made the fateful decision to incorporate their sauce into a business. Just go and start a business. Behind the name. I'm sure my listeners would love to know the story behind that name. Have you ever wondered why it was called Sweet Baby Ray's in the first place? Well, according to Dave Raymond, they already had a name in mind before they started their company. The sauce was apparently named after Dave Raymond's childhood nickname, which was, you guessed it, Baby Ray. He grew up on Chicago's West Side, and playing sports was essential for him to keep out of trouble. So he picked up a basketball, and it had a huge impact on his life. I'm playing basketball. Mm -hmm. According to an interview he did in a short documentary, one day Dave's team had to play against a much more intimidating team. During practice, he made a fancy move, and one of his teammates said, Hey, that's sweet, Baby Ray, and the name stuck. When Larry entered the Rib Fest, he did so under his brother's nickname. He knew what he wanted to name the company, so he intentionally made his sauce a little on the sweet side. Pretty sweet sauce in there, eh, Ace? Sweet Baby Ray was sold in 2005. Matter of fact, it's the reason we're selling the company. What? From the time the brothers started the company in 1986 to the time they sold it in 2005, the company had grown to a $30 million business. Their growth was definitely helped by their local reputation, and by 2005, their company had grown to new heights, which resulted in it being bought by Ken's Foods, a Massachusetts-based company which is best known for its salad dressing. Larry Raymond's son, Deuce Raymond, told the blog that the buyout was due to the success of a company that rose from the bottom, a perfect example of the American dream. Isn't that the American dream? The Raymond family is extremely proud of their sauce empire. In 2019, Deuce bragged that Sweet Baby Ray's is the best-selling barbecue sauce in retail history and that it sells more than the next seven sauces combined. The buyout was a win-win situation. No matter where you live in the United States, you can easily access the iconic flavor of Sweet Baby Ray's. And since Ken's Foods has been around since 1958, you know that your favorite barbecue sauce isn't going anywhere anytime soon. The Sweet Baby Ray's original, as well as its other flavors, kept the motto of the sauce is the boss. And who are we to argue with that? Can't argue with that. Healthier options. Eat healthier. You too, Julius. It's probably unsurprising that, as delicious as this sauce might be, there's really no way it's good for you. In fact, on many websites that talk about dietary health, they state loud and clear that Sweet Baby Ray's is something to stay away from. It seems as though the brand heard the chatter, though, because in 2020, the brand released a low-calorie, low-carb, no-sugar-added version of their original and hickory-flavored barbecue sauces. The sauce has just one gram of sugar and one carb, which is great for those barbecue fans who want to keep up their health-conscious lifestyle. Even though the word sweet is built into the name, this change-up shows that the company is willing to listen to its customers and make adjustments according to their wants and needs. My customers need to see that little label looking them right in the eye. According to their website, 14 wings and barbecue sauces are gluten-free, and out of the 20 available sauces, 15 are kosher certified. However, even though they've made some changes, that doesn't mean they're ditching their signature flavor. If you look closely at the barbecue sauce ingredients, you'll notice that there is at least some presence of sweetener. Allulose, a low-calorie sugar originally from wheat, is the fourth ingredient right ahead of salt, and sucralose Splenda is in the category of ingredients that make up 2% or less of the product. So if you want to stay away from those ingredients, consider yourself warned. Beware, I'm warning you. Craving another video? Just tap or click. First time here? Then hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.